While home improvement was a big trend in 2020, there's a lot we're looking forward to in 2021. So this morning, we want to know what did you learn this year and what are your goals for next year? So send us a text 602-444-1212. So the last hour, we shared what Crystal had to say to those questions, and now it's my turn. I think probably the biggest thing that I learned in 2020 was just what's important and what's not. I mean, you realize when you live a busy life and then everything comes to kind of a screeching halt and you're in quarantine with your family, you really learn what matters and what doesn't. And I think a lot of us get caught up in these material things and wanting the best thing and keeping up with the Joneses and all those types of things. But in a year like this, we really just whittled down to the essentials and it was family and our health and staying safe. Kind of like a funny way that I changed in 2020 is I actually learned how to cook. I was one of those people who literally could not boil rice. And because we were stuck at home, I still have to feed my family sometimes three meals a day. And we didn't want to go out to restaurants and ordering out became too expensive. I kind of had to force myself to learn how to prepare an actual meal that people would want to eat. So it started out with subscribing to one of these like meal delivery services and just learning how to do simple recipes. But now I find I do actually enjoy it. You know, these evenings where they can get kind of long because, you know, the kids don't have any sports or engagements after school. I kind of have my time now where I go into the kitchen, I prep the food, I get dinner ready. And it's kind of my time to just mindlessly enjoy measurements and spooning things out and just creating something new. And I'm so proud of myself because I actually have created some dishes that I never in a million years thought I would be able to do if you asked me this time last year. I really would love to go on a vacation, like a real vacation, an exotic vacation. I'd love to go back to the Caribbean. I'm obviously from Jamaica, but you know, I'd really like to go and see somewhere that I've never seen before. So that means getting my vaccine, getting my vaccination proof card, whatever it takes. I just want to safely be able to travel and enjoy life again as we did before. Mm, I need a vacation so badly. Yeah, we took all those things for granted, too. I, I did anyway. Yeah, and just the ability to vacation. Yeah, and just plan for the future. I mean, I feel like this year I kept telling people like everything's in pencil. I don't want anyone to agree to a phone call on a Friday because I'm like everything is just penciled in this year. So we've been asking, what did you guys learn in 2020? Here's what some of you are saying. I learned that family is very important and how much we appreciate the things we have versus the things we think we need. Amen mm -hmm. to that. Um, another one, 2020 this year, I learned how to enjoy outside activities more with family than just being at home. Yes, that is why we are so grateful that we were kind of locked down here in Arizona because the weather is nice. You know, even when it's super hot here, it still doesn't drive me crazy. I can still find outdoor things to do, you know? Not like the long winters will drive you crazy in other right. parts of the country for sure. Yeah, we're super lucky.